hope you're having a nice day so far. I thought for a start of the new year video on my channel and thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel last year and helped me reach my goal of 100 subscribers. I thought that I would do a bit of a chatty life video so people can get to know me a little bit more and things like that and if you've got any questions you can just leave them in the comments so obviously um, if you've gathered from my channel I have several health conditions so the kind of main illnesses that I have are ME which is now classed as severe so I'm housebound and I spend most of my time in bed just because of the symptoms that I experience with chronic fatigue and orthostatic problems and things like that so I do try and spend a little bit of time out of bed or on my bedroom floor doing some crafting when I'm able to um, but when you have kind of chronic illnesses and disabilities life is so unpredictable. Then one of my other conditions is hypermobile LS Danlos syndrome so that's a hereditary connective tissue disorder so basically your collagen is the glue of the body and it affects my organs and joints so certain organs don't work very well and then I also have a condition called functional neurological disorder so that's a malfunction with the brain's messaging system which causes all sorts of random neurological symptoms what I'll do is in the description box below I'll leave some links to some organisations to do with my different conditions and then as a result of my ME and my LS loss I have developed a condition called POTS which is Postural Orthostatic Tachycardia Syndrome so basically my blood pressure is very low but my heart rate can get quite high so that results in kind of things like passing out, um, dizziness, um, poor circulation um, and the problem is, is that my conditions all interact with each other um, and will bounce off each other so there's like shared symptoms so for example like chronic fatigue and pain and orthostatic problems and autonomic problems but then can also be like a domino effect so with my FND I have non-epileptic seizures which if I have one of them it will result in me dislocating because of my LS Danlos syndrome but then the exertion of the seizure will flare up my ME so it's kind of a snowball effect and is really difficult to manage um, and for so long I've just been trying to struggle and muddle through life and it's been really hard as my health has got worse over the years and it's only been in the past two, three months of towards the end of last year that my care really started to come together so for a long time I was having to pay for my own care whilst trying to get a care package but was just always being told I wasn't eligible to get a care package and then um, last year I got a care package so I've got a really good social worker which I feel really lucky to have a good social worker and I have a really good PA which is like another name for a carer and hopefully 
this year I will get some extra PAs because I'm needing some extra PAs and I'm hoping to get somebody who can braid hair um, obviously not an essential but things like that are quite important um, alongside obviously being calm and collected in an emergency yeah my ME has been getting a lot worse and I've developed some new neurological symptoms um, and at first with my ME I just thought oh this is just temporary but it's now dawning on me that this is probably going to be my new normal which is quite hard and emotionally difficult um, but it's helpful now that I've got my PA helping me out during the week and then once I get my new PAs I'll have somebody every day of the week helping me out so yeah I've got my care package and um, most of my medical care is down in London so my amazing neurologist is at St George's and then everyone else is at UCLH and then um, just before Christmas a nurse turned up at the door and um, she's not a community matron but she's an advanced nurse practitioner and she's with the chronic and complex team so I feel more hopeful about this year I'm talking about this year it's 2021 at the moment but this video is going to go out in 2022 so I'm saying this year um, and like I said this is going to be a chassis video so it's going to be quite hard for me to edit but anyway so I feel quite positive about 2022 in terms of the fact that I now have a care package and hopefully getting some new PAs so that I have care for every day of the week and then obviously Michelle getting my care sorted and then hopefully the operation that I'm waiting for happening and once I know when that's happening I'll feel able to talk about it because I feel like it's important to talk about certain things but anyway um, so yeah, I feel more positive about my health and social care situation going into 2022 um, and I, if you haven't seen my positives of 2021 and things I want to do in 2022, there's other things about next year that I want to do so I want to get back into reading so for Christmas I got a book voucher so I've ordered a couple of poetry books because there's this YouTuber called Hannah Hodgson who is a writer and she writes poetry and her YouTube channel has got me interested in poetry from her book reviews on her channel she's helped me put together a really good list of books that I want to read um, or listen to because I love audiobooks because with my ME I um, have very little energy and I also have a lot of migraines so um, I spend a lot of time laid in bed listening to audiobooks to help pass the time so I get through quite a lot of books um, just because it's something that I really enjoy and I'm, I've become less of a television person I'm not really that into watching TV programs I'd rather listen to a book or a podcast because I'm into books 
a bit more. I want to start doing some book reviews on my YouTube channel and I've already started making a list in my head and I'm going to add it to my blog and YouTube bullet journal of videos that I want to do in 2022 so um, like for example I want to do a bedroom tour yeah it's just getting organised because I try and have a balance on my YouTube channel of health and non-health related content so if anyone has any suggestions for videos that they want to see me make and um, put up on my channel I'd really love to hear your suggestions and if you've got any books or podcasts that you would highly recommend again I'd love to hear them because I'm always on the lookout for new books and podcasts to listen to I'm trying out new genres I used for a long time I just stuck to the same authors and the same genres but I've started to branch out into new things and that's been quite enjoyable just finished a audio book um, about um, a woman who was incarcerated in a Peruvian prison um, and I've got quite into the like confessional books like Confessions of a Male Nurse I recently listened to and also The Secret Midwife was a really good book that I listened to. You'll notice in some of my videos my notice board which you can see a little bit of in the background so it's almost two meters long so it takes up most of the wall it's like the feature wall of my bedroom and I love writing letters and obviously receiving letters to and from my pen pals and friends um, and also being part of the Chronic Warrior Collective which does like a card swap so my notice board I absolutely love it fills me with so much gratitude when I see what's up there and I have all sorts of novelty push pins um, and it just yeah it just really cheers me up to look at it um, and everything that I look at I can tell who it's come from I'm in a really good place with the people that I've got in my life now I've got a lot of friends and people that I connect with who have chronic illnesses and disabilities but it's not the sole focus of our lives it's just part of our lives but we talk about all sorts of different things that aren't to do with illness and the vast majority of the time illness doesn't even come into the conversation um, like we might drop it in like went for a walk and just feeling a bit tired now but it's just that mutual understanding and I think as well that understanding of being slow to reply to letters so you've not got someone who's impatiently waiting for a letter because you haven't replied because you're having a bit of a bad patch um, which is really nice that kind of everyone's kind of supportive but then if you are having a bit of a difficult time like when my surgery got cancelled I was able to message a friend and we just was able to support each other with the disheartment when you're so ready for a surgery and then it gets cancelled so yeah it's good to have a good circle of friends and I think when I first got ill I was so entrenched in being ill it was almost like it was who I was and it was all I focused on and it was all I had in my life and when I was in hospital in Leeds for six months I had some sessions with the health psychologist and we worked on my identity and I started to kind of realise that there was more to me than just being ill and 
now I don't focus on my health that much. I mean, it's there, it's there 24 seven, I don't get a break from it. Um, but I don't tweet, oh, I'm in loads of pain tonight, but I just think there's better things you can tweet about. And, um, but yeah, I've totally rambled. I'm getting really tired and I just want to get into my pyjamas and settle down for the night because I didn't sleep very well last night. Um, and I'm just making the most of having the house to myself this evening for a little while um, because my dad, stepmom and brother are at my uncle's with the family get together. I said I was going to go but then I realised that I just couldn't do it. If you've got any questions that you want to ask me um, or any comments or you just want to say hello just comment below and um, I will leave my contact details in the description box below so if you want to send me a email or check out my blog or my blog's Instagram account then um, well it's like my blog's Instagram and YouTube account it's like my kind of not my it's opposite to my personal Instagram account and I will say good night and hopefully see you in the next video bye for now